start by saying that there are no victims in this case. It all started April last year in 2022 when two girls that lived in my home with me locked themselves in their room and claimed to be hold their hostage. But here's the facts. When the authorities and the police broke into their room, raided our homes, they forgot to mention something really important. And that's that the key was in their room on their bed now i don't think it's just the victims lying anymore it's the police as well there is a reason why they don't want to put that certain detail in the files and it's pretty obvious this is all about some election in 2024 and the vacant spot for the decot leadership that the prosecutor wants the police know that there was no crime and they are holding the tate brothers locked with no evidence because they think it's good for Romanian politics. Now, the other two victims that the police claim to be involved in this case are me and Beatrice. And we have been given three statements so far, clearly saying we are not victims and we have never worked with or for Andrew and Tristan Tate in any way but our statements keep getting thrown away. The police don't care about the truth. They don't listen to neither me nor Beatrice. Instead, they choose to listen to two girls that went on a luxurious vacation on the French Riviera a week or two after being rescued for whatever they claimed to be. Another fact is that the police threw away the surveillance footage from the house, inside the house and outside the house, because they don't, don't consider it evidence. Evidence that proves that those girls were able and were going for walks, they were going out of the house with their phones whenever they wanted, wherever they wanted. We want justice, they want political points, and I'm sure that my statements will never be put in the case files because they don't want the truth. All they want is political points. The corruption is so highly valued the justice will never come out to the surface.